Well, it feels like it was only yesterday that I was telling you all about the latest build of Brizzy Pro version 0.05 and the new feature that I brought with that. And today I'm going to be bringing you another one. Yeah, they're churning them out pretty quickly. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the new carousel element and how we can use that with Brizzy Pro Beta version 0.06. So let's take a look at that now. My name is Paul C and this is WP Touch, the channel where we create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon to become part of the notification squad and be told every time a new video is uploaded. Okay, so Brizzy 0.06 and a new carousel element. Let's just jump over into the dashboard and the page I created in the last video and we'll use this as the basis. What we're going to do is we're going to come down and click to add a new block and we'll add a new blank block in. Get rid of the second column. We'll just delete that from there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to come up and we're going to add in a new element. And we're going to add in the carousel element. So let's just drag and drop that in. It'll load all the settings and everything in and some default content. So we can see now what we've got to work with. So as you can see, we've got four different blank blocks that we can scroll through and it'll show information whatever you want to put in there. So it's very, very easy to work with. You can see we get the little bullets at the bottom. If you want to make some changes to any of this, we can simply come in and start editing the content. So we can come in and just add in some images in the way we'd normally expect to do this. So we'll just add a couple of images in. Do the same for the next one. And the next one. And I'll just pause the video and just change all these for you. Okay, so there's a couple of images added in. Now, obviously, you can change the text. You can do all the normal kind of things you'd expect. And if we take a look at it, it's quite a nice, simple, straightforward carousel. So as you can see, in the same way that pretty much everything is done in Brizzy, it's very easy to deal with. Let's just say we want to add in another column. Well, we could simply come up to any of the columns, click, and then we can just say we want to duplicate it. We could if we wanted to add a new column, but if we duplicate, we transfer all those settings over, and we can just change what we want. So let's just duplicate it. Change the image on there to something else. So we'll just change the image and choose something like this and click on select. And you can see now that update it and we can just click to scroll through our carousel. Now obviously we've got the image, we've got all the normal image editing features. We can come in and we can reposition this wherever we want using the simple little sort of position tool, which I like, the zoom option. We can open in a light box if we want to. We can even pull in dynamic content. Now. It's still pretty limited at the moment. We're not really getting much control. We can create a carousel, but it'd be nice when we get some dynamic content in there so we can then put in things like our pages or posts. And, you know, we can then pull in featured images and so on and so forth. I think that'll be pretty cool when we start doing things like that. However, even though you've got the functions there to pull in that information, it's still not querying your sort of post section just yet. So I'm really looking forward to when we start to get that level of interactivity into it. We can start pulling in the beauty and simplicity of Brizzy and start using those things. But all together, a pretty cool start. Now obviously we can come in if we want to, we can select the actual containing block and we can edit that. So we can easily come in here and say we want this to be, for example, you want to be full width or something. So we just come over and choose the settings option. You can see at the moment it's set to boxed. Well, we can easily change that to full and it'll adjust accordingly. If you want to make some changes to the carousel itself, we have some, even though it's limited control, we still have some options there available. So let's click on there. Choose the first option then, which is the carousel option. So we can click on that and you can see we've got some basic options available. We can set it to autoplay if we want to, so it'll automatically start scrolling through there. We can go through then and set the speed if we enable that. If we disable it, it disappears. We can choose the number of columns we want. So if we increase that to four, you can see everything now adjusts itself. If we want to make more adjustments to the spacing, we can do that just by using the spacing slider. So we have some basic control over how we want this to look. If you go to the navigation option, you can see we can choose from a range of different types of arrows. So if we wanted, we could have heavy on there, or we could come in and say we want to have rounded. Or we could even disable them completely if we want to, just to use the little bullets at the bottom. You can then see the dots. We can change those to be none, circle, diamond, squares. So again, some nice simple options to choose from. And we can just tweak this to get exactly what we want to make sure it sits in to the design that we are working with. Now, obviously, at the moment, we don't have any controls for colors and things. We do have spacing, but that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping that a lot of these sort of things will start to be fleshed out as we get closer to the final release of Brizzy Pro. But it's still pretty cool. Now, the nice thing is 
You can use this in conjunction with things like the pop-ups. So where we covered the pop-up builder in the previous video, I still have that active on my button. So click on my button, click on my chain link, and then just go into edit my pop-up. You can see we've got the ordinary placeholder for the pop-up. So we can just delete all of this, just get rid of everything in there. Just delete all of that out. So we just end up with this blank container. And now what we can do is we can come in and we say we want to put a carousel in there. Let it put in the basic information that we have, but we can now combine the carousel with our pop-up so we could have a lot more interactivity with this and we can combine those very different components to create something just a little bit more unique. And as you can see, it's a couple of clicks and you have a really nice looking carousel inside a really nice looking pop-up. So it just attests to the simplicity that they are sort of integrating into every sort of fiber of Brizzy and Brizzy Pro. So I'm really excited to see the way they keep pushing this forward. And also, like I say, when they start to expand the core functionality, if they can retain that simplicity alongside it which I'm sure they will I think this is going to be a really really good page builder is it going to be as powerful as some of the other ones out there right at this point in time I'm not too sure but I think they've got some great ideas up their sleeve anyway that's the new beta version of Brizzy Pro 0.06 and the new carousel builder inside there I hope you found the video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up smash that subscribe button hit the bell icon to be notified every time new content is added to the channel let me know your thoughts on this and the direction that brizzy pro is taking in the comment section below i'd love to get your feedback on this and as always my name is paul c this has been wp tats and until next time take care